to keep things really mild for the next couple of days. Right now in Altoona, we've got a little bit of extra cloud cover, though nothing too significant that should ruin your day. Low 50s to start things off and wind speeds between 5 and 10 miles per hour that are going to continue to pick up a little bit more as we get into the late morning and early afternoon. Mostly looking at those wind speeds ranging between 10 to 15 miles per hour as those temperatures rise to the upper 60s and low 70s for daytime highs. Heading toward the end of the day, we'll cool down to the lower end of the 60s around 7 o'clock and we'll watch those winds subside as well. Now, during the next couple of days, we're going to be keeping a close eye on the winds because they'll get pretty gusty at times. For today, I only expect those winds to be gusting around 20 to 25 miles per hour, just depending on where you are. You can see winds staying a little bit lighter down to the south. By tonight, nice, quiet conditions, but waking up tomorrow, you'll likely be noticing those winds start to pick up a little bit quicker with gusts possible upwards of 30 miles per hour for some spots and then continuing to stick around through the day and into the evening hours as well. All during this time, we'll be watching slowly but surely as things start to change directions, which is going to mean a lot of big changes for us at the upper levels in terms of what kind of air warm or cool comes our direction. In the meantime, it's warm air that's getting filtered in from the south. You can see the 80s, upper 70s ranging from Dodge City over to St. Louis. That's all going to continue to get pushed up our direction. So tomorrow's daytime highs will be even warmer than what you experienced for today. But as we head toward the end of the week, big difference. Watch as we welcome in all that cool air as a trough of low pressure moves all the way down, dominates the region and continues to impact our area, bringing our overall daytime highs down to 50s and overnight lows down to 30s. Yeah, it's going to start feeling a little bit more like late fall, maybe even early winter for some of you. Upper 40s, low 40s, then down to the low to mid 30s. By the time you're waking up on Friday morning, we'll bring back a little bit of warm air for your Saturday, but long term we are going to continue to be looking at overall cool temperatures. This is giving you a look at the 8 to 14 day outlook. So looking way out, we still look to be underneath that blue bullseye indicating below normal temperatures for this time of year. Looking just at the next eight days, we go from 70s down to 50s by the end of the work week. Like I said, a little bit of warm air for your Saturday, upper 60s. Get outside and enjoy that. Looking at chances for rain heading Sunday as well as into Monday and daytime highs sinking to the 40s for your Monday and Tuesday overnight lows in the low 30s. Just be prepared for all the different changes coming, having multiple layers ready to take on and put on, uh, take off and put on. There you go uh, over the next <laughs> few days. <laughs>